Hey everybody, it's Jaggy, and this week I am at Aldi. I have a brand new phone, so I'm hoping my video quality is even better than ever, and I'm so excited to get in the store with my new camera and show you everything I'm getting this week with the meal plan at the end. Let's go. I'm going to get baked Cheez-Its, $2.95 for Chex Mix and my girls' lunches. My Aldi doesn't carry these all the time, but when they do, my husband will get the Chex Mix, 79 cents. I'm not getting these, but this is new at my Aldi at least. Um, the chocolate and the white, or the mixed, or vanilla. Lots of different Oreo cookie style. I'm getting blue corn tortilla chips, $1.79. Sourdough loaf for grilled cheese sandwiches, $2.65. Pre sliced, because I'm lazy. 85 cents for white bread. This will probably be used by some for grilled cheese, and then even for lunches this week. Elsie was so sad to not have cider last week. I have it again, $3.75. We love the Aldi cider. We have a couple more bins of pumpkins up front. So they have a lot of pumpkins right now, $2.99. And I need to bring my kids back to shop for pumpkins. So maybe that'll be a special small video of this week or next. I'm making homemade salsa this week, so I need cilantro, $0.69. Cents. Oops. I'm gonna get two bags of honey, and I'm gonna get two pounds of honey crisp apples. For $2.49, just gotta find a good bag here. Looks good. I still cry a little bit at the price of our milk because it's so high, but compared to what it was, $2.84. Still need a gallon of wheat milk. Pack of unsalted butter, $2.89. And a tub of butter, $2.29. They still have the they still have this fall section over here. Lots of yummy goodness. I will say last week. I was a little disappointed with my pie. The crust was very soft. That's probably why it was marked down. But it was still a really good price, and the filling is good. And they have the donuts. But we have so much junk at our house right now, I'm not buying them. I need a can, a large can of tomatoes for 87 cents. I would prefer them not to be crushed, but I don't have the option of a large can of full tomatoes. My whole family's been wanting applesauce, so I'm gonna get actually two jars of the cinnamon applesauce. They really like this. $1.29 each. Grape tomatoes, $1.89. I'm actually gonna get two packs of these for my girls' lunches. They love them. And also mini sweet peppers for $2.99 for the girls' lunches. I don't know. They're so easy to pack. I'm not getting any of these, but we have a lot of nice gourds and pumpkins for fall out now. $2.49. Just cute. So I thought I totally missed the jalapenos and I just circled back again. They don't have any jalapenos right now, which are imperative. So I have to go to another store because I need them in my salsa. Someone mentioned in a previous video, jar size is getting smaller and these have gotten smaller. That is for sure. We are, we are having charcuterie this week and $1.99 for Kalamata olives as well as $1.29 for baby dill. $1.99, $1.32 for pretzels for the Chex Mix. I need corn flakes for $1.39 for Parmesan crusted chicken I'm making and then I'll make corn flake potatoes another time. 245 lemon juice. I used the last of my lemon juice last week making shorba sauce and we just keep this on hand. 245. We're not quite out but we're running low on apple juice for vitamins. Another one, another week, $1.19. I almost forgot to get rice checks for Chex Mix, $1.55. Do the Jackie. As usual, we have a well-stocked Aldi Isle of Shame, or the Aldi Finds Isle. I don't have the Ambiano brand, but I love my hand mixer. It's one of my favorite kitchen tools. Definitely recommend getting one of those. This seems like such a good price. These are so soft, but the last thing I need in my house is another blanket, even though I kind of do want to buy one. Really yummy flavors. Stationery, more cards. Wish I had this a couple of years ago when my daughter had knee surgery. You could definitely use this. 
I just texted a picture of this to my husband for our loungers. We've been looking for a table. He wants to find something wooden, but we never found anything at a decent price. And I think these would be super easy and work really well in between our loungers. I'll let you know what he says. If you're wondering if Aldi has enough candy for the season, I think they have enough for this season and next season. Lots of it. Hopefully some of it goes on clearance. This is my absolute favorite Halloween candy, the mini bags of Haribo gummies. I really would love to find some of those on clearance and keep them to myself. I find this very tempting as a gift for my son, but again, no need for another blanket. It's just too cute. Starting to have stuff marked down. Oh my goodness, this is just like my Planet Box stuff that they sent me, which we love. I would definitely recommend those. I asked my middle daughter what soup I should make this week because, hello, fall's here, soup season, and this is what she picked. Not exactly what I had in mind, but when I ask my kids for recommendations, I try my best to make them feel heard. So we're having this this week with grilled cheese, 89 cents a box. And then I'm trying to find um, an easy soup for my vegetarian daughter. I want to see what their German ones are. So they didn't have the lentil of the German soups. So I'm going to get her the simple, Simply Nature lentil soup. She loves lentil soup. And I actually might get two of these, and I'll have this one with her while everyone else has the chicken. $1.79 a piece. I've never had them, but I love lentil soup. My Parmesan crusted chicken has cornflakes and panko, so I need more panko. $0.89. Cents. $1.35 for flour tortillas to make. Wait, these are too big. $1.45 for these flour tortillas to make quesadillas. I'm gonna use chicken and salsa in the crock pot, and then we'll have cheese or chicken quesadillas. 68 cents for two cans of Casamamita Rotel with chilies. Um, this is for my homemade salsa. I'm going to get four of these original plain waters, my favorite. I love all the flavors, but when I'm fasting most of the day, I like the no flavor. 55 cents a piece. More candy, they took the German stuff away. I missed out, you guys, you were right. I should have bought the cabbage last week, unless I can find it which I really hope I can. Ooh, wait. So in the Aldi Finds food aisle, they do have some German stuff, but none of the cabbage, it looks like. <sighs> my fault, but I'm gonna switch out one of my last cans of lentil soup for this lentil vegetable soup. It's 2 19 and I'll let my older daughter pick whichever one looks better to her, and I'll eat the other one. I'm tempted to get these. Let's see. Hostess pumpkin cupcakes, 286. But like I said, we have so much junk in my house. They look good though. Just like my always favorite when I was a kid at the cafeteria, fall cakes. Nothing too new in this aisle anymore. Just lots of German stuff that's left over, but not my red cabbage that I wanted so badly. <laughs> I made a mistake last week. 365, I need more coffee. I want thin chicken breasts for my Parmesan crusted chicken breast, so I'm getting this for $3.79 a pound. It's $4.59. And then I'll leave a little bit out for quesadillas because we don't need much chicken for that. This looks super good, but I think it's too fancy for us. And you have to keep it over hot water or in a fondue pot, which we don't have. And that sounds like a lot of effort, but it looks super good. These look new in the Aldi Finds aisle, the frozen section. Waffle fries that are sweet potato, not my thing. Spinach and cheese ravioli, now that is my thing. That sounds really good. We'll see if it's there next week. Maybe I'll put ravioli on the list. That's something I won't be heartbroken if it's gone. But it's out of my meal plan this week. Shrimp stuff, pierogies. So they still have all these mac and cheese bites beef patties, meatballs, loaded potato tots, yummy. We're actually having the cheese spatial I bought last week as a side this week and I'm looking forward to that but I'm surprised they still have some. They have so many pretzels. 
um, with our charcuterie, we're actually, instead of a baguette this week, I'm having pretzels. So I look forward to having the pretzel sticks. These veggie rolls look so good to me. Don't think that's the right price. No, they're four ninety nine. dollars Not getting any of this stuff, but I know you guys like to see what they have. Lots of pizzas. This is like the pizza holder. I have seen online that these are super good Gino's East deep dish pizzas. Um, I've never tried them. And I just think my family's too picky to try them. Because <laughs> I would like the sausage and pepperoni, but my husband doesn't like sausage on pizza. And then my kids wouldn't like it. And, you know, hard to please. But they, I've heard these are really good. And we have them. Still have a lot of those. All this stuff. I am so tempted to buy these. If you've tried any, let me know. Maybe I'll put it on the list next week when we have less junk in our house. It's my husband's birthday this week, so we have cake from last night celebrating with his parents. Cake this week. Birthday stuff. Oh, we're getting mild cheddar for our quesadillas. I didn't have this spicy hummus this week and my daughter noticed. She was like, where's my spicy hummus? So here it is, Mila, $1.95. My absolute favorite cheese of all day, hands down, the garlic and herb goat cheese. I'm getting this for the charcuterie. I will be the only one that eats it and I'll eat it all in a sitting. There's no shame. And this is all to say, you should buy it too. I am getting some mild cheddar for grilled cheese sandwiches, $1.79. But I have to say, it took some convincing to my family that this is mild cheddar, that it's not yellow anymore. Anyone else have that problem? So I just checked out. Here's my cart. Any guesses on the total? Tuesday at 2.45. I'll go over this ad with you guys live. So I spent $73.90, so it's much smaller than last week, which is always a win in my book. I made a lot of my meal plan on the stuff that we already have. I've been doing that because we're getting a new pantry. My husband is putting one together in our kitchen, so I'm trying to get a lot of stuff out of our old pantry and not move it into a new one and I've made a lot of progress so my bills have been able to be smaller on occasion like this week. However, I still need to get jalapenos so I guess I'm going to have to hit another local Aldi and see if they have red cabbage and hopefully I can win there. First item I needed was a success. They have jalapenos here. They don't look like the best but it'll do for 59 cents. Yay. I simply forgot to get the crispy oats, also known as Cheerios, for $1.15 for not only cereal for breakfast for my son, but also for the Chex Mix. When I was getting cheese, I looked at the guacamole and just forgot to grab it. So $2.99, I needed more guacamole. I am so bummed it does not look like they have the red cabbage here either, even though they have other leftover German week. Oh, there's where it would be and it's full of pickles. Dang it. Aldi trip number two. A little less than $5. I guess I learned my lesson and next year when I see red cabbage, I'll stock up because I love that stuff and I was so sad it wasn't there. They had so much of it last week and red cabbage seems kind of obscure, like maybe most people wouldn't love it. I'm the only one in my family that loves it, but I should have snagged it then, you guys are right. I wanted to have it with the Parmesan crusted chicken, but now for the rest of my meal plan, you guys can see it here. On our menu for this week, we are having parm crusted chicken, mashed potatoes, and the cheese basil from the Aldi Fine Frozen section. This is where I wanted to have the red cabbage that I totally missed out on and I'm still kicking myself about. We have so many elements of our charcuterie board, like we have lots of random partial things of crackers. We have pepperoni from last week's pizza. I have different cheeses, so I thought it would be a perfect way to tie it all together and have charcuterie. We're also going to be eating pretzels with that, and we have the giant jar of cheese that we got at Sam's Club I mentioned last week. We are going out to eat, or actually probably getting takeout, whatever my hubby picks on his birthday. I'm going to have the chicken soup or the lentil soup depending on who you are in my family and grilled cheese again i wanted to make a homemade soup but my daughter picked the boxed chicken noodle soup which is fine by me that'll be easy on a sports night 
My older daughter Mila wanted to make fried rice, so she's gonna make fried rice. She does make it vegetarian, so she doesn't put any bacon in it and she doesn't like eggs in it. But we have everything on hand for that. And then we have frozen dumplings from the Aldi Fines left over. I'm gonna make the rest of those for us meat eaters. We are gonna have chicken quesadillas and then salsa and guacamole. And finally, we're gonna have a baked potato bar. This was from last week's meal plan, but we ended up having leftovers from my in-laws when we went over there for dinner to have for another night of dinner. So we bumped this from last week's meal plan to this week so I didn't have to buy any. If you're interested in seeing how I make homemade salsa, you can check out this video right here on my brand new channel where I share with you simple family food. This is all my recipes and cooking, and I would love to share that with you. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.